Hi everyone, welcome to BioDecoded, and in today's episode, we will be discussing vaccines. Before putting a vaccine out on the market, there is an extensive process to check the vaccine efficacy and toxicity. If you are curious about this process and want to know more, keep watching! Before having a new vaccine out on the market, it has to be developed. This is normally the longest step. You need funding, new ideas, and collaborations between researchers. Testing a new idea may take some time. You need to test the hypothesis and get some results. Sometimes things don't work out as you thought, and so you will need to understand where the problem is and test again. This process requires repeating experiments again and again until the results are supported by enough evidence. This first part is known as basic research and often involves investigating on a molecular or cellular level. Once you have enough data and well-supported results, the preclinical phase can begin. During this phase, there are more experiments to be done to validate whether the vaccine will produce immunity and if it's safe. This is a fundamental process and most of the candidate vaccines won't pass this stage and will have to start all over again. However, if the vaccine has high efficacy and a low toxicity, then clinical or also called human trials can begin. This stage consists of three phases that differ on the amount and health conditions of the volunteers. First, during phase one, there is a small amount of healthy volunteers that take the vaccine to evaluate if it is safe. Then, during phase two, the vaccine is given to a larger group of people, typically with similar characteristics to the target population, like people of a certain age group or people who are immunocompromised. This stage can help determine the best dosage. Finally, phase three is a larger double-blind trial involving thousands of people. To be a double-blind trial means that neither the doctor nor the volunteer knows who gets the vaccine or who gets the placebo. This is to avoid any type of bias and verify if the vaccine is indeed a better option. Also, it helps provide a better idea of the vaccine's safety and efficacy for the general population. After a successful phase 3 trial, the regulatory health authorities like FDA or Health Canada evaluate all the information from the trials and decide whether it's beneficial for the population or not. Once the vaccine gets the green light, the manufacturing and distribution start. Although this story is far from over, the health authorities of each country will continue monitoring the efficacy and safety of the vaccine, receiving updates from the healthcare providers. As you can see, it's a long process to ensure the safety of a vaccine. On average, it takes around 5 to 10 years for a vaccine to get approval. So the question now is, how is it that the COVID-19 vaccine has been produced in only one year? Does it make it any less safe? No. The only difference is that most COVID-19 vaccines have done this process a lot faster simply just by overlapping the different phases and starting manufacturing early. Also, there has been a lot of funding and collaborations worldwide, which has reduced the exploratory phase. It's still safe, just faster. If you have any questions or concerns about vaccines, don't be afraid to ask your medical provider. You can also check out our social media and ask questions there or in the comment section below. Thanks for watching!